Hi guys, Eddie from Sunbury Serpents here. I hope you guys enjoyed my video that I put up yesterday, but a couple of subscribers have pointed out a bit of a blooper. Um, I did a little video in my own room to show you guys my setup and I completely forgot to edit that in. So this video is basically just a little clip of my rodent setup. Uh, sorry I missed this out for you guys yesterday. Um, also, I had a couple of messages yesterday, just people asking about things in terms of my rodents and the setup and what I feed them, etc, etc. Uh, please keep these comments coming. I'm always happy to help. I love sharing. This hobby is about sharing. We're a community. Let's try and help each other. Also, at the end of this video, if you like the video and like the content, please feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment below, and I hope you guys enjoy. Here we are in the rodent room. So in here we have 14 tubs of a mixture of 2.4, 1.3. So that's one to two males with three to four females in the tubs. Uh, I believe that's a good breeding ratio. You get loads of babies. And if you get into the cycle of weaning them off, putting the weaners into a separate tub, growing them up, breaking them into breeding groups and starting over again. And then what you do is you cull your ex-breeders when they are you know above 100 grams or 80 to 100 grams and generally my multis will be that sort of size when i cull them some i'll cull smaller for the smaller snakes but yeah so this is how i do it i have them in these low top tubs with smaller groups lots of straw kind of shavings you know shavings from any pet shop i get mine from a farm suppliers and in the hopper i supply them with peanuts bird seed which is all mixed together dog food and they also get pasta bread and various veg scraps from the kitchen um and as you can see sorry i've got some insulation up there as you can see they're breeding really really well i mean i've got about 50 little pinks in there and that's from these guys this little group here and that's four females and a male i believe and then here we have a slightly more grown on group. So the, the females, a couple of them are pregnant again. And there are some smaller multis in here, which you can see at the back there, which are almost ready to wean. They're now on solid foods, probably another week or so, but doing really, really well. Now these guys get completely cleaned out every week without fail. Because obviously if rodents don't get cleaned out every week, they start to smell, they get dirty and it's not good. And I believe that they deserve a quality of life, same as the snakes. And here are some even slightly less developed. So these guys uh, are probably about two weeks old. They've got their lovely little bit of fur. So they've gone from the pink stage to this stage. And then obviously back to this tub is when you start to think about weaning them off when they're a bit bigger and they're eating solid foods. Now going, you know, going back to the diet side of things, I believe that feeding your rodents the quality food that you can provide is really really good for them now i've got I've, I've developed my food i've i've evolved my food with help of friends who have got really good diets for their rodents you know i started out like a lot of people did with sour rolls thinking sour rolls were the way forward trust me they are not uh very low nutritional value and the options out there for the things you can offer your rodents there's so much you can offer them you know if you're struggling to find a farm to get those sort of you know goat mix or any other foods, you can go to a pet shop and buy hamster food, guinea pig food, any of that sort of stuff, and, and then supplement their diet with veg scraps, with things like peanuts. This time of year, they love them. It's a bit cooler, they're a bit more fatty, so they really enjoy them. It plumps them out, helps them when they're, when they're growing, when they're breeding. And obviously, I have this bin here, so on a weekly basis, this is cleaned out, F10, and refilled with fresh water. So I've done that just now. So they've got lots of fresh water and I do their water bottles every three days, come in here, empty them out, put fresh water in, and it just makes sure they're getting a, a, a stream, a steady stream of fresh water. So there you go. Uh, apologies once again for missing out this bit of content. Um, 
I hope you like that. That's basically my rodent setup for the time being. Um, certain times of year I have a lot more, uh, sometimes a lot less. If I go away on holiday, I tend to cull the entire rodent collection, freeze them, and then when I come home, I've got lovely fresh rodents in my freezer, and then I can restock and start my breeding rodents again. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video. Please feel free to subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys next time for another installment.